So what is going on guys, it is your boy Nisho here and today we got ourselves some new Photon cards, um, you know, Kite was definitely a real cool guy in the anime and uh, it's nice to see him uh, getting some more support. And look at my boy Numeral Hunter right there man, looking man smexy. Uh, so let's just get into it, uh, it's uh, just one, one XE monster, one new Photon monster and a trap card that is uh, kind of similar to like some other chop cards that uh, other archetypes have gotten but yeah so star leech photon blast dragon and if you know you're wondering where you remember star leech is from um you know it's like star leech lord galaxion and uh star leech P P palady namo um these are the other two star leeches so yeah it's just photon focused uh rank four except this one is more generic than both of them combined because Galaxion requires two level four photons and uh, Palladium Ammo requires two level four lights. So, yeah. Uh, if this card is, is exceed summon, you can special summon any photon monster from your hand. Um, this is pretty cool um, because, you know, it's like you just get, you know, to keep your speed going, but um, at the same time, there aren't really a lot of good photon monsters. If it said photon or galaxy monster, then you know that would be pretty solid, but it says photon monster only. So, uh, pretty sad uh, crying tears. So, uh, while this exceed summon card is face up in a monster zone, monsters you control that have 2000 or more attack cannot be targeted by the effects of your opponent nor destroyed by the effects of your opponent. Um, and so, if you, you know, this really more applies to uh, you know other monsters because he only has 1800 himself. But um, pretty much, as long as he's face up on the field and you, and you summon him properly, then uh, you know. If you can like pull yourself like a big board together, then you're gonna have a, a board of monsters who can't be destroyed or targeted by your opponent's card effects. So that's that's actually pretty cool. And lastly, uh, once per turn during your opponent's turn, you attach one exceed material from this card and target one galaxy as photon dragon, either in your graveyard or among your banished cards, and special summon that monster, which is actually pretty damn cool because um, if you have a galaxy as in your graveyard, maybe you detach it as exceed material, or if it's just there. You get to special summon it, and you know again it's it's gonna have two thousand more attack thing, and as well as uh, if if it's banished, like if you banished a uh, galaxy's photon dragon and you want it to come back a little earlier, I guess you can you can do this, but it's only during your opponent's turn, which is a little sad, but you know it does you know give you a little uh you know a space to play around. So if they like dark hole or Raigeki your board while this is in on your field and you know, um, you have a Galaxy Eyes, either Graveyard or Banish, you special him back that Galaxy Eyes, the Galaxy Eyes is going to stay on the field, and uh, he's going to go bye-bye, but, you know, you get to have a Galaxy Eyes on the field, so, yeah. Um, honestly, I was thinking, like, which one is better, Star Leech Photon and Blast Dragon, or Lord Galaxion, and uh, I just think, you know, maybe uh, Galaxion is better if you just want to special summon, like, just get Galaxy Eyes out on the board, but he, he requires two level four Photon monsters, and I know Photons, they play a mixture of Photon and Galaxy, so if you have a Galaxy monster as well, um, you know, you can't go into Star Leech or Galaxy on, which is probably uh, his biggest problem here, but, you know, this guy, you can use him, you know, any two level four, so it's, he, he's just more convenient, but I feel like Galaxy on is just the better the better option if you're trying to you know get into you know plays here so next we have photon banisher level 4 light warrior uh, with 2000 attack and zero defense and so it cannot be normal summoner set but you can special summon it from your hand if you control a photon or galaxy monster and you go to special summon it once per turn if this card is special summoned you can add one galaxy's photon dragon from your deck to your hand this card cannot attack the turn in a special summon and a exceed monster does uh, using this card in the field as material gains the following effect. The monsters this card destroys by battle are banished instead of being sent to the graveyard. So let's take a minute to, to uh, take all that in. First off, he gets to special summon himself for free. He's kind of like a Kizan when you control full ton of galaxy monster. So if you could, so you go Thrasher into Vanisher, and then Vanisher searches you a galaxy eyes full ton dragon, and then you overlay to go into um, Star Leech full ton blast dragon, and then you can special summon. Uh, that galaxy eyes from the hand uh, that's cool but imagine that with star Leech lord galaxy on right so um so vanisher so thrasher into vanisher uh search you a galaxy eyes photon dragon from uh from your deck and then galaxy on 
detach two to special summon one from your deck as well. So you have one in your hand and one in your deck. I mean, one on your, one in the field. Uh, so it's really your choice on how you want to play it. It's it, it actually works pretty well for you either way. Uh, his only problem is that he you know he can't be normal summon. So you have to control another galaxy monster or photon or you know the fact he says galaxy actually it might not be that big of a deal. You can also use like galaxy wizard and all this and that. So definitely not that bad. And uh, also um, what is it? Uh, photon sanctuary. Yeah, the tokens are actually called uh, photon tokens or whatever like I know they have photon in the name so if you even have the tokens you can also um, summon this guy out and search yourself a galaxy eyes photon dragon so it all works out so if you're playing triple photon sanctuary you shouldn't have a problem summoning this guy and so lastly the trap card we're gonna have here is a photon change a continuous trap card send this card from the, uh, to the graveyard during your second standby phase after being activated um, so it has a time limit on it. So you send one photon or galaxy monster you control to the graveyard to apply one of the following effects. And then if galaxy has photon dragon descent, you apply both effects. So you um, special summon a photon from your deck that has a different name. And then you add a photon card from your deck to your hand. So like any spell, trap, or whatever that also has photon in the name. And, you know, um... I would say just don't don't even bother doing this unless you're sending a Galaxy Eyes because uh, for the most part, unless you're getting like Regekied or something, uh, sending a monster you control to the graveyard just to, you know, special summon another Photon, I, I guess utter, like outside of the battle phase because, uh, you know, yeah, that, you know, gives you the chance to attack. But this is a continuous chop card, so it, it, you, you're not going to use it first turn. The first turn you're going to use it is during your opponent's turn. So the whole battle phase thing is really... You know, it's, it's a little more situational. But, um, you add photon cards from deck to your hand, you know, whoop de doo Um, maybe just clearing up space on your board, but I don't really see yourself, like, I don't really see photons or galaxies, like, having, like, this gigantic board. They usually end up with, like, one or two big, big exceeds that just stack up on each other. So, it's, this isn't really a deck that you're really going to have, like, a lot of monsters on board. So it's uh, so to me like having it so that you send it from your fields to the graveyard, not from your hand or not from your graveyard back into the deck or something like that. That would that would that would be different. But if it's sending from your fields to the graveyard, that's uh, it's just okay. So it, it's not the worst uh, card ever, and uh, it, it is a photon trap card. So I guess you can search it somehow. I hope. But yeah. Um, those are the new Photon cards. Uh, I do think that they do work well, and I do think Photon and Galaxy players are going to have uh, definitely a little more fun playing these cards. I don't know if this is going to make the deck any like good in any competitive manner. Um, I do know Photon Sanctuary is a pretty solid card, and so having a searcher for that could definitely help, but um, for the most part, I don't really know how these cards are going to end up affecting the game because I'm not really a Galaxy or Photon player but I do like seeing, seeing the deck in action and uh, if you're wondering just like I am uh, how Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon is doing over here um, Ghost Rares are pretty much just gone um, if you want a Ghost Rare uh, Unlimited you, there are two left on the market I, I and be, me being somebody who hasn't seen the deck before I don't think you need three Galaxy Eyes uh, you know if, if you're in the comments and you know, you play galaxies and photons. Do you really need three, or can you just get away with two? Because I, I feel like three might be a little too cloggy. I don't know what what you would do with three galaxy eyes in your hand. They don't really summon themselves um, easily, unless you have like a photon sanctuary or something. So, and uh, first eds are almost thirties a pop for ghost rares, and then ultimates. Um, it's kind of looking grim here. You can still like get like a few of them for like under ten dollars each. Like like this one's almost uh, or around seven bucks, and then this one's uh, almost eight bucks. Um, and for first ads, for first ads are just non-existent. First ads are just non-existent. <laughs> you might as well just be. If you're gonna get a first dead ultimate, you might as well just get a, get a ghost fair. You might as well just just get a ghost fair. Uh, just just stick to your unlimited. Just just say that it's from like OTS or something. You, you like you, your friends won't care. Um, and so, uh, full armor is still sitting here at like sevens each. 
Um, pretty good card. Just summon him over any galaxy uh, exceed monster and just pop stuff. And then uh, Photon Prime, I do feel like he's like the like before the the Photon uh, number that we're getting in Battles of Legend Relentless Revenge. I forgot what number it is. He's either 80 or 90. I think he's number 90, right? That Photon that we're getting. That rank 8 who uh, lets you search or even uh, attach materials to him. I feel like he's going to be your, your go-to uh, Photon rank 8. But um, this one, number 62, is definitely going to be your second in command. So um, if you want to pick him up, unlimited are like 5s, 6s. And then near mints for first ed. Oh wait, first ed near mint we saw here at uh, almost nine. So it, it's a, it's a fair price. Hopefully nobody goes freaking berserk over this card. I mean this card barely has any relevance. I mean it's it, it's just a good card for like hitting over the uh, monsters, especially if he has a galaxy as a as XC material. So. And yeah, uh, just galaxies in general. Um, Hope Harbinger is like almost 20s each. Uh, you can get them for like 18, 19 here. So if you also want to play one copy of him, you know, you can also do that. But uh, for the most part, I think everything else is at, is at a fair price. I don't even know what Galaxy has Cypher Blade Dragon does. Um, but I'm not going to take the time to read that now. Uh, that's really all I have to say for now. Um, let me uh, just tell me what you guys think about this new Photon support. Um, you know, you think it's good, think it's bad. You think, hey, maybe I should pick up uh, Galaxies again. Uh, we don't know when this stuff is coming out. Again, the same thing as the Blackwing stuff. We don't know when it's coming out in the TCG. But, um, you know, it's definitely real interesting stuff to see. And uh, we'll definitely uh, be awaiting its arrival here. So, uh, yeah. That's really all I got to say for now. This was Nisha here, signing out.